everyone today we are going to start with a short tutorial on the basic physics of ultrasound uh, physics of ultrasound is rather simpler than the physics of MRI so it will be shorter maybe one or two presentation I think two presentation uh, will be enough for it anyway first ultrasound basically is a sound it's just like normal sound like you hear me so we should understand the properties of sound in order to understand how ultrasound works so what is sound it is a mechanical and longitudinal waves that can transfer a distance using a medium mechanical waves can transfer energy through some distance using a medium short must be there there must be a medium to transfer the mechanical energy and it cannot travel through vacuum what? it cannot travel through vacuum what's going on today is not our lucky day Just a second. So, in order to transfer this energy, we must need a, a medium. It cannot transfer through vacuum. Light can be transferred through vacuum. ينتقل في الفراغ. But sound does not move through emptiness. Okay? So, it's a mechanical longitudinal waves with a frequency exceed ultrasound what's the difference from usual normal sound is that it has a frequency exceeding the upper limit of human hearing human beings can hear sound waves with a frequency from 20 to 20,000 Hertz that's 20 to 20,000 oscillation per second this our here our ears can hear we can hear that if it is more than 20,000 Hertz cycle per second, huh? it is called ultra sound, above sound, sounds that we cannot hear. Okay, what do we use in the medical practice in our daily practice? We use ultrasound waves with a frequency ranging from two to twenty megahertz, yani two to twenty million oscillation per second. We can hear up to twenty thousand oscillation per second. 20,000 Hertz okay what we use is 2 to 20 mega Hertz okay so the basic ultrasound physics we in order to understand it we need to understand few definitions that's the velocity the amplitude the wavelength and the frequency what's the velocity velocity is the speed at which the sound wave travel through a medium centimeter per second meter per second whatever Every medium has certain velocity in which the sound can travel through it, okay? Some media are better, they transfer sound faster, and some are worse, transfer sound in a, a bad way. For example, air is a bad medium for sound transmission. The air that we usually use when we speak to each other, it is a bad medium. While, for example, water is bet much better solid things like wood or iron or metal or whatever it's very much better than water and so on the more the density of the medium the higher the speed of sound transmission so it is determined by the density and the stiffness of the media it's slow in in gas or air and it's fast in solid okay the average speed of ultrasound in the flesh in the human body in our body it's about 1540 meter per second okay 1540 meter per our body okay just a simple experiment you can do it when you are going to a swimming pool just under the pool try to make a sound clap your hand or shout or whatever you can hear the sound far away through the water Water is a good medium for transmission, okay? So, how does that 
transform into medical benefit we have what's called near field imaging and far field imaging the near field imaging when you put the probe near the part of the body that you want to examine for example near the kidney you'll have tissue that are closer to the probe they appear on top because the waves sound waves will return faster they are close okay where the tissues that are far we have a pointer here the tissues that are uh, what's going on that are far from the probe here will be will be viewed on the end of the screen because they the sound comes back later the sound trans tra goes through the tissues in the same speed all of them so if it goes in the 1540 meter per second the tissues that are close to the probe will be seen on the top of the image because the sound comes back faster and the tissues that are away from the probe the sound will uh, the, it will appear on the far side of the image on the downside of the image because the sounds come back later okay yani if i send two people running at the same speed one runs to the end of the room and the other runs to the end of the hospital the one who runs to the end of the hospital will come back later because he needs more time okay now this is the velocity what about frequency frequency is the number of cycles per second cycle per second we they call it hertz when we say 20 hertz we mean 20 cycle per second 20 megahertz 20 million cycle per second okay so ultrasound uses 20 to 20 million hertz 20 to 20 megahertz okay so the, the ultrasound waves or sound waves in general has this property the less the frequency the more the penetration okay so low frequency the penetration will be higher and the resolution will be less يعني, frequency high penetration low resolution high frequency low penetration high resolution low يعني, frequency or penetration axi opposite okay frequency and resolution tardy they go together uh, sorry uh, the more the frequency the more the penetration the more the frequency the less the penetration كل ما زاد الفريكوانسي قل البنتريشن كل ما زاد الفريكوانسي زاد الريزوليوشن get it يعني linear probe high frequency probe will get us detailed image high resolution image but low depth that's why we use it for superficial structures like thyroid breast testicle and things like that superficial high resolution but they are superficial we cannot make it to image deep structures while for deep things like liver kidney we use the curvilinear probe low frequency probe to get more penetration and less resolution okay so what about the wavelength the wavelength is the distance over which one cycle occur يعني, from the depth to the depth of the cycle or from the apex to the apex of the cycle this is the wavelength okay the definition of the wavelength so now we have velocity frequency and wavelength so as the velocity is constant that's 1540 meter per second velocity in the human body constant okay in general as the frequency increase the wavelength decrease كل ما زاد عدد السايكل بيرت سكند الوحدة ال wavelength decrease okay the frequency decrease the wavelength increase okay you have to understand these relations now what's the amplitude of the sound wave amplitude is the strength or the intensity of the sound wave at any given time يعني بالضبط ارتفاع الصوت the volume of the sound 
when you are watching TV, you increase the volume, you increase the amplitude, you increase the amount of energy in that sound wave. The same frequency, the same wavelength, the same everything, except the amplitude, ertifa the energy in the sound is more, higher sound. You can hear it better. Okay? When I don't hear you well, I ask you to speak louder to increase the amplitude of your sound and I can hear you better. Okay? The more the depth, the amplitude will be less. كل ما أبعد عنك the sound the, the, the loudness of your voice will be less for me. Okay? When I'm next to you, you speak in a normal voice. When you are far away, you shout so that I can hear you because the amplitude is decreased as you go away from the sound. Okay? So, the amplitude defines the brightness of the image. Is the image bright, dark? Hasabil amplitude. So when you increase the gain on your image, you are increasing the amplitude. What you are doing, you are increasing the amplitude. Okay? You are increasing this part. So, irrespective of the frequency, the amplitude remains constant. You can use low frequency probe, high frequency probe, and the amplitude, you can stay constant. Okay? This is a low frequency. You can see the amplitude is the same as the high frequency. Artifa'al wave is the same from the apex to the base. Okay? The higher the amplitude, the brighter the image. And the lower the amplitude, the more dark the image, as we said. Okay? Which one would you expect to have a brighter image? This one, this wave, or this wave? The lower one will have a brighter image because the amplitude. The height of the wave is more. Okay? So how ultrasound works? Bright. Okay? Salt a'la. Tismani akfar. Man ta'ali salt television. Hatta lo tugu at ba'id. Rahavalt isma' awadah. Okay? Image bright. Sound more. So, how does the ultrasound machine works? There is something called the piezoelectric effect. What's this piezoelectric effect? Some crystals, some materials, they have this ability to transform electrical energy into vibrations. Okay, into sound waves. So, we put this material, the piezoelectric crystal, in the probe. We give it electrical energy okay the electrical energy will be transformed into vibration the crystal will start shaking okay generating sound okay the crystal starts to shake when it shakes sound wave turns electrical into mechanical energy sound waves are mechanical waves okay this mechanical waves will go into the tissues, will hit something like liver or kidney or whatever, okay? It will generate an echo. Okay? This echo, when it hits the kidney, it will generate an echo. This echo will go back into the piezoelectric crystal. When it shakes, the piezoelectric crystal, it will transform the mechanical energy back into electrical energy. This electrical energy will go into the computer. Computer will change it into image. Yani, electrical wave goes into mechanical wave. Mechanical wave goes into the tissue. Make an echo. Sada. Echo will go back, hit the crystal, shake it, change the mechanical back into electrical. Okay? Like the MRI, what we said. You send energy, you get energy. You send mechanical, you get mechanical. All you have to do is to change the mechanical into electrical. Okay? High crystal, piezoelectric crystal, can do that. Okay? 
So by using pulse echo method, pulse echo, pulse echo, pulse echo, it gives sound, receive sound, give sound, receive sound. Okay. So the ultrasound transducer produces pulses of ultrasound wave. It is like tick 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 pulse. Okay. Each pulse has its echo. Pulse echo. Pulse echo. Generating uh, any images. Okay. These waves travel within the body and interact with the various tissues, and the reflected waves return to the transducer processed by the ultrasound machine. An image which represents this reflection is formed on the monitor. Okay? Yani, what we are seeing on the monitor is echoes of sound. Every sound we give, we receive an echo for it, the machine changes it into an image. Okay? So, this, these sound waves, when they go into the tissue, they will interact with the different tissues. The tissues will affect the sound waves in, in a different degree, according to the type of tissue, resulting into the image. How they, does the tissues interact with the sound waves? By four processes. Four things happen. These are the reflection, the transmission, the attenuation, and the scattering. We have to understand how does every one of these works. What's reflection, what's transmission, what's attenuation, and what's the scattering. Okay? First, reflection. <coughs> when there is a boundary between two adjacent tissues or two different media. Okay? Yani, for example, liver and kidney, they are adjacent to each other. Two different tissues. Almost, almost the same density, but not 100% the same. There is just tiny difference between the density of the liver and density of the kidney. So we have two different tissues in contact with each other with very low or small difference in the density. So what will happen when the sound goes from the through the liver into the kidney? What will happen? There will be a reflection. Some of the sound, some of the sound will go back into the transducer and some will go deep into the kidney. Qasim the salt, the ultrasound, ينعكس, reflects back into the crystal, into the probe, and قسم will go deep, يكمل. How much goes back and how much goes deep? Shown, how do we determine that? Difference in the density of the different of the two different tissues. هو يحدد. جد أكو difference determines how much of the sound is reflected. Okay. In other words, there is something called acoustic impedance, مقاومه الصوت بين two different tissues. Basically, it's the same as the density. كل ما زاد ال difference زاد the acoustic impedance زاد the reflection. When the ever the density is more, the acoustic impedance is more, the reflection is more. Okay. When Part of the sound is reflected, image will form. So that's mean, that means the more the difference, the more the reflection. So when you have soft tissue and adjacent to it is something very low density. For example, air. What will happen? All the sound will be reflected. Nothing will go deep. That's why we cannot see bowel. Because bowel contain gas. Bowel contain gas. Around the bowel is flesh, soft tissue. Laham. Okay? So, density of the flesh, of the soft tissue, is much more than the density of the air, of the gas. All the sound reflected, nothing goes in, you cannot see bowel. Okay? Same thing with the bone. Bone is very dense. Much more than the soft tissue. So all the sound goes back, nothing goes deep, you cannot see bone. By ultrasound. Yani, it doesn't matter which one is more. Yani, you know, the bone is more than the soft tissue, the bone is less than the soft tissue, it's not important. The bone is not the when there is a lot of difference, a lot of sound reflects. When there is low difference, some of the sound reflects. 
تمام مو مهم انه الفرق هوايه يعني البون اقل من السوفت شو لو الهواء البون اكثر من السوفت شو الهواء اقل من السوفت شو ات دازنت ماتر المهم الديفرنس ايش قد اوكي الديفرنس هاي ساوند جو باك نوثينج جوز ان ذاتس واي وين وي هاف سم فور اكزامبل انتستينال اوبستراكشن اول اوف ذا باول از فيلد وذ فلويد when you see case of intestinal obstruction the bowel filled with the fluid you can't see the bowel شوف البول و filled with the fluid and you can't see the peristalsis why? because there is no air it's fluid close to the soft tissue density it's the same that's why you can't see it the same thing with for example uh, stones gallbladder stone or kidney stone stone is like a bone it's dense that's why you see acoustic shadow behind it because none of the sound goes in All of it is reflected from the stone. It's dense, high density. There is a high acoustic impedance. Tell me the idea. Okay. So, what's the acoustic impedance? It's the density by the velocity. Velocity is con constant. So basically, the acoustic impedance is the density of the tissues. Okay, because velocity is constant. Now, what about the second criteria? That's the scattering. Scattering is the redirection of sound in several directions caused by interaction with small reflectors or rough surface. Only a portion of the sound wave returns to the transducer. Scatter, I speak, my sound goes to all of you. Okay? And some of it will be reflected back into me and some of it will be scattered into the walls and the sides of the room. Okay? So, when we set an ultrasound echo from the probe, ultrasound pulse huh? it will be reflected on the tissues some of it will go back into the crystal the rest will be scattered يتشر. okay we lose that part the scattered part we lose it we cannot hear it we cannot see it because it's scattered okay so the more smooth the tissue the less the scatter the image will be better the more rough the tissue The more scatter and the image will be worse. Okay? Opposite of the reflection is the transmission. Axial reflection بالضبط. Whenever the transmission, not uh, we, we said not all, uh, some of the sound will be reflected, some will go deep. صح? These waves will be reflected from the deeper structures. يعني the less uh, you have the transducer and you have for example liver with the kidney kidney with the adjacent tissues some of the sound will reflect from the first interface liver and the kidney the rest will go deep but the rest is smaller then it will be reflected from the other interface يعني كل ما يمشي الصوت قسم من عنده reflect قسم pass okay if the tissue is very homogeneous hmm? all of the sound will go in it will be transmitted and nothing will go back for example urinary bladder if the urinary bladder contains urine urine is water water is very homogeneous my kulla nafs density بالضبط okay that's why you see the urinary bladder as something dark because no sound is reflected back All of it, it is transmitted deep. And that's why when you do ultrasound of the uterus, you need a full bladder. All of this sound will go deep. You will see the uterus well. The sound will start reflecting from the uterus, not from the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is just something dark. Because it's homogeneous, it causes all of the sound to be transmitted, nothing to go back. Everything that is very homogeneous. Okay, but basically, for example, liver is composed of millions of cells. Cells are not very homogeneous, slightly inhomogeneous. It will not be seen as gallbladder contains bile. Bile is homogeneous. It will be seen as black. Okay, simple renal cyst contains fluid. Fluid is homogeneous. Will be dark and so on. Okay. Attenuation. The deeper the waves travels in the body. The weaker it becomes, as we said, because at every interface, some will reflect and some will continue. Okay? يعني, 
if we start at the door of the hospital اوكي okay? 20 واحد احنا جينا من باب المستشفى للقاعه اوكي okay? يم باب الاداره أربعة خمسة رجعوا يم باب القسم أربعة خمسة رجعوا والبقيه كامله وترانسميشن يم باب الغرفه أربعة خمسة رجعوا واخر شيء اللي وصلوا ثلاثة أربعة يعني ف the deeper the more we go the more people will go back will be reflected والديب يكونون اقل يعني البيكتشر كل ما نفوت ديب تكون وورس تمام لانه اللي بقى قليل اوكي فور اكزامبل يو كان سي هير ذس از ذا ابزوربشن اند ريفليكشن وين وي هاف هاي فريكوانسي بروب اوكي هاي فريكوانسي لينير بروب We said the more the frequency, the less penetration, but higher resolution. So if you use a low frequency probe to image the liver, you can see here, uh, sorry, high frequency probe to image the liver, you can see here the deep part will be less visible because there is less penetration. Huh? When you change it into a, high, uh, a low frequency probe, there will be high penetration. You can see the deeper part much better compared this one with this one. Why? Because there is low frequency, high penetration. Best, the resolution is worse. Okay? The same thing here with the reflection. When you have this, this is chest, rib, rib, and the lung. You have soft tissue here, the chest wall, soft tissue. When you have bone, is high density. So, sound hit the bone, High density, high acoustic impedance, everything will go back, nothing will go deep. You have acoustic shadow. Okay? And the same thing happens with, with low density structures. The lung, it's very low density. Soft tissue, sound will hit the air, everything go back, nothing goes deep. So, it's not important bone is higher, air is less, important is the difference. The more the difference, the more the reflection. يعني البون نفس السوفت شو لا high reflection. Air نفس السوفت شو لا high reflection. مو مهم إنه البون density عالية والair density قليلة. مهم إنه difference عالي. Not every reflection causes yeah, not, not every reflection. No, the reflection will be picked up by the probe and result in image if it is not scattered. Okay, you can see the part, the most superficial part of the bone as very bright because it reflects. Yeah, and you can see this very bright line here. Okay, just the cortex, the most superficial surface of the bone because everything will be reflected. You cannot see deeper. No, no, no. No, it will be reflected. All of it reflected. Madame, there is it's not uh, not axle bone. It's the same as the bone. Madame, the difference in density is high. Reflection is high. Okay. مو مهم إنه density مال the air أقل من السوفت شو لو. مثلاً خلينا نفترض. The density of the bone فرضاً 10 جرام بالسنتيمتر مكعب فرضاً. Okay. The soft tissue اثنين. Okay. أو السوفت تشو خلينا نقول خمسة بتر عشرة البون سوفت تشو خمسة عشرة ناقص خمسة خمسة كوز هاي ريفليكشن لتس نفترض إنه الغاز صفر صفر ناقص خمسة خمسة أو يعني فرق الصفر عن الخمسة خمسة سو تو كوز ريفليكشن الديفرنس هو المهم مو المهم لور لو أبر إن ذيس بارت أوف ذا بودي أوكي Okay, sound giant is soft tissue. Ah, but the fluid difference, soft tissue density, and soft tissue is very little. For my damn difference, little penetration is high. Okay, the fluid, the same dense, almost the same density of the soft tissue. For that, it can't pull the sound. If the fluid density is high on the soft tissue, it won't pull the sound. 
بالووتر فلود الساوند يسوي ريفلكس بس بال ترانسميشن اي ترانسميشن بس بالغاز ما ابغى اي بالغاز ما يسوي ترانسميشن اذا الساوند جاي من السوفت تشو صح تمام So as a summary of the ultrasound attributes, we have the attenuation. The deeper we go, the weaker the sound becomes. We have absorption. The weaker, the deeper we go, some of the sound will be absorbed by the tissues, also attenuated. We have reflection. At every interface, there is some sound is reflected back into the probe. Okay, scattering. Some of the sound will be scattered in the tissues. Okay. Ref uh, refraction, we don't see that by ultrasound because it's you can consider it just part of the scatter. Some of it reflects different angles and will not be picked up by the probe. And diffraction, the same idea. As you go deep, the sound will go into a wider angle. Okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about ecogenicity. Ecogenicity is caused by reflections the more reflection the more ecogenic the structure is you have something we can call it unechoic what's unechoic means there is no sound reflection everything goes deep Ur urinary bladder is black unechoic why because it contains fluid all the sound goes through it transmitted nothing is reflected unechoic no echoes no sound transmitted uh, or reflected sorry okay like for example this amniotic fluid it's black like here unechoic okay we have hypoechoic hypoechoic it's not completely dark it's a little bit dark gray let's say like the brain of this fetus okay so it reflects a little bit of sound Okay, and you have hyperechoic. That is very good sound transmission. Like example, this frontal bone of the fetus because it's bone, it reflects a lot of the sound wave. It appears as hyperechoic, whitish. And we have this gray scale. You have the anechoic, the hypoechoic, the isoechoic, hyperechoic, and you have this very dense things like bone, for example, that cause the only the edge is very hyperechoic because it trans uh, it reflects the sound uh, and posterior to it is acoustic shadowing you can't see nothing okay do we have time or we continue another uh... okay we'll continue thursday inshallah okay so next time we'll talk about the time gain compensation and post processing inshallah if you have any questions we will answer them later okay